this training, you'll be introduced to Content Central in a general way, including how to log in for the first time, how to get around the system, and how to get help. After installation day, you'll be given a web address that you can use to access your Content Central. Open any web browser, like Internet Explorer. In the address bar, type the web address for your Content Central. You'll arrive at the login screen. The first time you access Content Central from a workstation, it's important to remember that computer needs to meet the minimum system requirements. You can review those system requirements in the Frequently Asked Questions area of the Atomero Support website. Most users like to create a bookmark or a favorite for the Content Central web address so they can get back to it easily. You can also drag and drop the Content Central logo from the address bar to your desktop to create a shortcut. Content Central is like many other websites. If you stop using it for about 15 minutes, it will log you out by default. To stay logged in after periods of inactivity, you can check the Keep Me Logged In checkbox on the login screen. Also, like other websites, your browser might offer to remember your username or your password. Choose what works best for you and your organization. If your Content Central has been configured with Active Directory integration, you may notice a domain drop-down box on the login screen. If you're going to log in using your network username and password, be sure to select your domain from the list before you begin. The first time you access Content Central, you may be prompted to update or install Java. You also may be prompted to update or install a PDF viewer, such as Adobe Reader. Finally, in certain areas of the application, you may be asked for permission to run our Java applets. Just choose yes and continue. When you log in, you'll arrive at the dashboard which is like your home screen for Content Central. The dashboard gives you important information about any of the documents that you care about in the system, no matter where they are. Above the dashboard, you'll see the title bar. The title bar is always available no matter where you are in Content Central. If you get lost, you can always click on the logo in the upper left-hand corner to return to the dashboard. One of the most useful areas on the title bar is the Help button. It's in the upper right hand corner. The Help button gives you access to help about the area of Content Central that you're in right now. It also gives you access to the full user guide that you can download in HTML or PDF. Most importantly, from the Help button, you can start a live chat with one of our 24-7 support technicians by clicking on the Get Live Help button. Choose the Customer Service option, provide your name, your question, and your company name. and then a technician will join your chat to answer your questions as soon as possible. Some questions may be too technical and will require the help of an engineer, so the support technician may need to take your contact information and have an engineer get back with you. Users can configure per-user options under the Options area. These options are specific to each user, not to the entire system. If you logged in using your network username and password, then you can change your Content Central password the same way you change your network password, which is through Windows. But if you logged in using a special username and password that is specific to Content Central, you can change your password under the user profile. In the Preferences area, 
You can change some of the default settings about how Content Central behaves. Many users use this area to configure how Content Central shows documents. And also to ask to be notified when certain events in the system happen. Content Central has a search provider that you can add to your web browser. This search provider makes it easier to start a search in Content Central even if you don't have Content Central open yet. To install the search provider, just go to the Options area under Downloads and Installers and click on Install Content Central Search Provider. Content Central actually has two ways to perform a search. The first is the full text search, which searches through any of the field data associated with a document, but it also searches through all of the text on the page. The full text search behaves a lot like a search on Google, and you can use special keywords to narrow down your results. The second way to search is typically called a field level search or a drill down search. With this search, you narrow down your results by selecting certain details, like the catalog, the document type, or even some of the field data. You can use wildcards like the asterisk if you don't know exactly what you're looking for. You can also perform a search against a range of dates if your document type uses date fields. Finally, you can combine the two searches as well to get the most precise results. In the folders area, the catalog browser is the permanent home for all the documents in your system. On the right, we have the results grid on the top and the preview pane down below. The preview pane can be resized by dragging the border up and down. The preview pane is completely controlled by your PDF viewer, so it might look different on two computers that use different PDF viewers. This example shows Adobe Reader, which has options for zooming in or out, an option for printing the document, an option for saving the document, or even an option for emailing the document. In the upper right hand corner we get a count of all the documents in this folder or if we were doing a search it would be a count of all the documents that met our search criteria. You can sort your list by clicking on the column title for any column that you want to sort by. Click once for ascending and twice for descending. You can also drag your column title into this area that says drag a column header here to group by that column. Content Central will group your results. When you're done, just drag the column title back into the list. You can view the document's history by selecting a document and choosing View Document History. The document history tells you everything about the document from the moment it was added to the system. It tells you the user that performed the action as well as the date and time that it happened. You can even download previous versions of the document here in the document's history. 
If you'd like to perform some more detailed analysis of the information in the results grid, you can always go to the File menu and choose to Save All Results. This option gives you an XML file that you can open in Excel. It contains all the information from the results grid. There are many ways to get documents into the system with Content Central. Some of them involve using this web interface, but you can also tell Content Central in advance about folders or email addresses that you want to monitor to bring documents into the system. Using the web interface, we can capture documents using the capture screen. If you have a scanner directly connected to your computer, for instance through USB, you can use the direct scan capture type to bring documents into Content Central. Just type in the field data and click Continue. The direct scan application will begin. As long as your scanner is Twain compliant and you have the most recent drivers, it will show up here in the drop down list. When you're ready, click Scan. Documents will show up in the preview pane a little shrunk but you can zoom in if you need to. When you've scanned in all the pages of your document, click Finish. Make sure to wait for the Upload Successful message. That's how you know Content Central has received your document. You may not want to provide all of the field data for one of your scans ahead of time. In this scenario, you go to the Capture screen, and change the coding method to Post Capture Coding. Content Central won't ask you for the field values. And after you've sent in your scan, it will show up in the coding queue where you can enter field data there. We can get to the coding queue by going to the folders area and choosing Coding Queue. Here we see our scan waiting for field information. To provide it, we click on the Modify menu and choose Code Documents. In the Document Properties pane, we have a chance to change the catalog and the document type. When we're ready to commit the document into the system and to its permanent home in the catalog browser, we click Commit. The document disappears from the coding queue, and we can find it by going to the catalog browser or we can search for it. You can also capture files that you already have in electronic format. Just click on the Capture button and choose Electronic. You'll notice a Browse button down below. When you're uploading a PDF, Content Central will ask you whether you want to keep it in the original form, make it fully searchable, or make it fully searchable but leave it in original form. 99% of the time, you'll want the second option. Again, wait for the Upload Successful screen to make sure Content Central received your document. Your system may be configured with monitored folders or monitored email addresses. If so, Content Central has been given some rules in advance about how to watch an existing network folder or an email address for documents that are arriving. With a monitored folder, you can just drop your documents into the folder so that Content Central will bring them into the system. Depending on how your system is configured, those files may end up in the coding queue or they may go straight to the catalog browser. To use monitored email addresses, Simply send an email with your attachments to the email address that's been configured. Content Central will take the attachments or the body if that's what you chose and bring those into the system. Again, they may show up in the coding queue or they may go straight to the catalog browser. To log out of Content Central, click the log out button in the upper right hand corner. This completes the Introduction to Content Central training, where we covered how to search for documents, how to get them into the system, how to get help, 
and how to move around.